Sex and games, the laughs galore. We bring fun straight to your door. Pop culture, talk and trivia, history and new video games. Movies, music, wrestling too. Sports and stories just for you. Every week a brand new show. Come along, it's time to go. Soapbox, floor, dashboard, oh hey. We're here to brighten up your day. Grab a stack and take a seat. Let's dive in the fun's complete. Hey everyone, and welcome in for another Soapbox special. This one is Crowned Jewels, and this is kind of our prediction and talking about the Crown Jewel WWE 2024 pay-per-view coming up tomorrow. Um, it's in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, and this is, there is seven matches on this card, which is a step up from the recent four to seven or four to six that they've been doing recently um first match that we're going to talk about is randy orton versus kevin owens uh recently kevin owens has turned heel um because he was mad that cody rhodes was hanging out with the bloodline or former bloodline people like Woman. The Usos and Roman Reigns and stuff like that. And so Kevin Owens attacked him, and then Kevin Owens attacked Randy Orton. And that has now turned into a feud between Orton's, or Orton and Owens. Um, I think Kevin Owens needs to win more than Randy Orton, especially if he's going to go back and challenge Cody for the title, but I think this is going to be a kind of a a long feud, and they're going to feud for a little while. Um, I'd like to see Kevin Owens win this one, but I think at the end of the feud, Randy Orton will win. What do you think? I think they, that Kevin Owens might win this match, but Randy Orton might win the food. The feud. The food? What food? I'm just kidding. <laughs> and Don's just hanging out. He doesn't know a whole lot about what's going on. He probably yeah. hasn't kept up much with the wrestling in a while. I haven't. Except on TikTok. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think I think Kevin's going to win this one. <laughs> uh, the next match, and this is kind of the projected match order, is the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship Fatal 4-Way Match. And the tag teams are Bianca Belair and Jade Cargill, who are the current champions, versus Damage Control, EO Sky, and Kari Sane, versus Meta 4, which is Lash Legend and Jakira Jackson, Jakara Jackson. And they are from NXT. And then you have Chelsea Green and Piper Niven um, is the fourth team. Basically anybody but Bianca and Jade. Um, I don't think Jade's good, and I think Bianca, there's better spots for her on the roster. Um, she needs to be going after titles, not hanging out. Um, damage Control, I'd like to see them win. Uh, they're kind of slowly going back towards face. Um... Chelsea Green, Piper Niven, it'd be nice if they do something. Kai, you're messing up the mic. Just set up, set up, set up. There, there sorry. You go. All right. Uh, but yeah, it, basically anybody but Bianca and Jade. Not that I have anything against them. I just think that Jade needs some more training. What do you think, Kai? Uh, I think... That the last team's gonna win. I Chelsea don't. Green and Piper Niven. Yeah, I don't really want Damage Control to win, but they might. But Fair point. Because uh, I just don't like the people. Yeah, and you probably don't know who Lash Legend and Jakara Jackson are. Who is that? They're from NXT. Yeah. Um, the next match is Seth Rollins versus Bronson Reed. 
I think Bronson Reed needs the win. He's kind of... He's been a force, but not anything major that's really made a name for himself on the roster. Um, I, but I could see Seth winning and then getting back in the title feud with um, with um, Cody Rhodes. I think... Bonson... Wait, is it a title match? No, it's just a feud. So I think Bonson's gonna win this match because, it, but if it was a title match, I think Seth would win because. Yeah. He like just got his title back, right? Uh, neither one of them have a title right now. Oh. It's just a feud. Um. Seth Rollins just came back from injury. Bronson Reed injured Seth Rollins, and Seth Rollins came back from injury and uh, and beat up Bronson Reed. Oh. So I I don't know. I I think Bronson Reed needs the win more, but I think Seth is going to win and then go on to feud with Cody Rhodes. He needs the win, but he's. Yep. Might not get it. Okay. How do you feel? Good. Okay. About who's about who's <laughs> going to win? Good. About who's going to win? Okay. Who's going to win? Seth. Seth. Okay. That's what I was looking for, dude. I was looking for a name, not like a... <laughs> How do you actually doing, feel? When you ask, I doing stuff. Do you like it? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Good. How are you? <laughs> uh, okay. And the next match is the United States Championship Triple Threat Match. And this is LA Knight, the champion, versus Andrade and Camar Carmelo Hayes. Um, Carmelo Hayes and... Uh, Andrade were in a feud with each other and they were finishing up their seventh match of their best of seven series that LA Knight was um, he was the um, special guest referee for and he decided to get a little bit too involved and that's what led to this match I think Carmelo Hayes is going to win um, I like L.A. Knight, but I think he's going to end up going to feud for the world title is, or something different. Isn't Carlo Carmel Hayes the one yep. who turned on that guy? Yeah. I think I think Carmelo Hayes my one, but I want the L.A. Knight. No. Oh, Andrade. Yeah. You want Andrade to win? Yeah. Okay. Good choice too. I, I think this might happen. I think Andrade and um, Carmelo's going to fight a lot because what, and then, and they've already been feuding. Yeah, and LA Knight might come in and like, pin one of them, whether or not. Like, Maybe. Or it could go anyway. So, WWE has done something different, and they have created these titles called the Crown Jewel Championships. And there's a men's and a women's, and they're worth like $9 million a piece. And they have a match between the current women's champions, and then they'll have a match between the current men's champions. The problem is, is these, these wrestlers, if they win, don't get the physical title. They get a ring, and then their name sits on the title in some WWE exhibit in Saudi Arabia. Mm. So it almost sounds like these titles were created by the Saudi... Oh my, did you eat eggs today? <laughs> <laughs> these titles were created by the Saudi government. <laughs> and uh, basically, they're, they're just there to say, look at us. Um, but I, so the women's one is between Nia Jax and Liv Morgan. Um, I think this could go either way. I think 
that uh, Tiffany Stratton or Rhea Ripley could cost Liv Morgan. But I also think that damage control could cost Nia Jax. So I'm kind of I'm kind of up in the air on that one. Wait, who is it? Nia Jax versus Liv Morgan. Oh, maybe. Yeah, not Liv Morgan or Damage Control could. Or sorry, I not mean, Damage Control. Judgment Day. Um, Liv Morgan, I think. Um. The people you just said are probably like Rhea or. You think Judgment Day is going to cost Nia Jax, or do you think. I think Judgment Day is going to cost. I think Rhea is going to cost Liv. I think Tiffany Stratton is going to try to help Nia Jax and accidentally cost her. And then they. No. And then her and Nia Jax are going to feud. Um. Here's in Nia Jax, my the judgment that a in might try and help Liv Morgan win, and then they mess up. So it could go either way. Very possible. Um, over in the men's crown jewel championship, there is Cody Rhodes versus Gunther. I think if Gunther is going to establish himself as a main eventer, he needs this win. And I actually think that he might win. And then we're going to go into Cody Rhodes doubting himself and turning heel. And when did Cody get, like, last year? When did he, what, win the title? Yeah. Uh, he won it at WrestleMania back in April. Oh, that's like a few months ago. Mm -hmm. Usually, people keep. Like, well, he won't lose. They won't lose their titles. I know. But, okay, yeah, but both of them um, won just a few months ago. Yeah. Who, who did they win? Who's the money? Wait, no, never mind. What? They're fighting for a made-up a new championship belt. That they'll get to hold the name for, and then they get like a Super Bowl ring. Could money in the bank come in? No, there okay. is no money in the bank. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think Gunther is going to beat Cody. Yeah, and maybe Kevin Owens could come cost Cody because that's possible too. And Gunther, mm -hmm. someone could maybe cost him. Gunther has not. Imperium still around him. Yeah, but who's like he, who has he been in a feud with? Anyone? Gunther? Yeah. Uh he's kind of been all over the place. So basically if you have like everyone Goldberg. Then? He's in a feud with Goldberg, so I could see him Goldberg's and Goldberg. Back? Yeah. Um so I could see Goldberg interfering and help and no, distracting sure. him. Or he could make a turn and be like the referee, maybe? No. No. Who could... I don't know. Here's what could also happen. He could mess... You move around so much. I know. Cody could... Cody might interfere, but... With I don't know. what? Or Cody could beat him. And he might... Tr the Imperium might try and help him, but they... um. Cost him the championship, yeah, or Goldberg could cost Cody. Hmm, or it hasn't, or there's Owens, all sorts of stuff that could happen. Or Owens could try to help oh. Gunther win, but Cody wins, maybe, and then he's disappointed in it. So, um, okay, we're gonna talk about the last match. Okay, our last match is Roman Reigns. And Jey Uso and Jimmy Uso versus the new bloodline, which is Solo Sokoa, and then some sort of combination of Jacob Fatu, Tama Tonga, and Tonga Loa. And it's probably going to be Tama Tonga, Fa uh, Jacob Fatu, and Solo Sokoa. I, I'm rooting for Aquaman. Yeah, 
I mean, me too. <laughs> but um, I think that the Bloodline needs the win. They've lost too many matches recently. Um, I think that they're going to beat Roman and the Usos. And I think they're going to do it with adding another member. Um, just because they've been teasing that. There's supposedly like half a dozen people that are under contract now with WWE that are going to get added to both sides of this feud. Not to mention well, The Rock, too, is involved with this, so... Um, they need the one, the new person, but I want the old one. And I want the... You want the old bloodline yeah. to win? I want Roman, Jay, and Jerry. Yeah. Because I like them way more than yeah. I, the only one I really know is Solo, and I, I don't really like him. I, he's yeah. always never talked or said anything. So yeah. And as soon as Roman gets that thing, he's going to be come travel chief again, right? Yeah. So he S could grab it. And then he might. Um. Yeah. I I'd like to see Roman Reigns win, but I think we're going to see the new bloodline win. But like when the when it like just started when it was just the Usos and Roman Reigns. Mm hmm They did they like didn't they invent a new or Roman might still be like mm, Mad at Jamie? No, he's not. No. They're they're back together now. Oh. Um something. But yeah, that's kind of our our predictions. Um also kind of of note, as of earlier today, WWE released Tegan Knox, Baron Corbin, and Indy Hartwell. Um, and both of them have kind of been bouncing, or all three of them have been bouncing around between the main roster and NXT. Um, so it's kind of not really a surprise. I think we'll see Baron Corbin back eventually. I don't know about Indy or Tegan Knox. Um, it's always possible. But yeah. Um, and that's all we got for you. You got anything to add? Bye. Okay. Bye. <laughs>